Welcome back to Ship Planet. Today's news was a surprise, and I wasn't expecting it. Today there was chaos among the Shiba Inu community after Shaitoshi posted a poll regarding a recent update, and some are saying this is a great opportunity, and some are saying that this is going to be a disaster. So let's uncover the facts. And this was the tweet. Sh Shaitoshi says, Shib Army, I need a quick vote. We have been kindly invited to work with the World Economic Forum as it pertains to their Metaverse global policy. Would love to know what you all think because it's not our decision, but it's yours. And at the moment, uh, about 60-62% of the Shib Army are voting yes, about uh, 27 are voting no, and about 10% are currently neutral. And personally, I believe Shaitoshi is against this idea because he has previously voiced strong opinions against centralized voices in the past. And generally, the World Economic Forum is known as a centralization maximalist and pretty much their ideologies, they seemingly oppose the ethos of Shiba Inu. But since Shiba Inu is a decentralized community, the ultimate decision rests in the hands of the Shib army. And so today we're going to discuss the pros and cons of what this means. Welcome back to Shib Planet, everyone. This is Ace, the World Economic Forum, friend or foe. Let's see which side you fall on. All right, guys, let's take a look at the World Economic Forum's uh, Metaverse Initiative. According to their website, this is their mission statement for the uh, Metaverse Initiative. It goes like this. Our mission, defining and building an open and, inclu and inclusive metaverse. The World Economic Forum is committed to bringing together leading voices from the private sector, civil society, academia, and policy to define the parameters of an economically viable and accessible and inclusive metaverse. We aim to foster collaboration among multiple stakeholders to build the metaverse in an integrated and open way and to help it fulfill its promise by transforming consumer experiences and business models across industries. And I also found this on their website. They have, have an article which says, City says metaverse economy could be worth $13 trillion by 2030. It says that the investment bank City has put a valuation on the metaverse, suggesting it's potentially a $13 trillion opportunity by 2030. The eye-catching valuation was made by the bank's metaverse and money report. So basically, the World Economic Forum, they recognize that the metaverse is slated to be a significant part of the future global economy, and they are inviting any influential presence in the space at the moment to try and influence some policy. And so on one hand, it's absolutely amazing that the efforts and the potential of the Shiba Inu metaverse project has caught the attention of the World Economic Forum, um, and they are pretty much seen as one of the most influential global bodies at the moment. And on the other hand, you just can't help but wonder why do they care so much, as they have a very bad public sentiment after some of the statements which they have made earlier this year. More on that later. But before I continue, uh, some of you are probably wondering why the World Economic Forum is even interested in the metaverse, let alone Shiba Inu. Well, it just happens that a couple of days ago, I made a video about um, the metaverse and my research led me to discover that it's expected to be worth over five trillion dollars by uh, 2030 according to some analysts so that's nearly six times the current size of the global crypto market cap so i highly recommend that you watch this video because um, it's really going to put things into perspective as to uh, what's happening at the moment uh, so if you're interested i'll put a link in either the top right corner and also in the description and, um, and I think yesterday's video was also about uh, a recent metaverse update. I think uh, both those would uh, lend well to appreciating today's video. But for now, let's look at some of the community sentiment. This is from the Shib Army Reddit uh, page, and it's got a lot of negative comments. The first one says, they want us to eat bugs and live in pods. F no. And uh, there's a lot of swearing in it, so it's pretty negative. And the next one is very anti-WEF. Uh, it says, you will own nothing and be happy. And funnily enough, these comments actually come directly, f uh, the almost direct quotes from the, from the World Economic Forum. They basically want to have some sort of, um, you know, utopian centralized future. Other comments say, hell no. Klaus Schwab, who pretty much wrote the book, um, literally on the Great Reset, his plan is nothing less than evil. We should not be associated in any way. The WEF stands for uh, pretty much centralization and control. It's the complete opposite of the objective to build a decentralized SHIB ecosystem. The next comment, no, no uh, WEF involvement. And um, yeah, another one's you know, pretty much flipping the bird. 
and uh, yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of negative comments. Another one, hard pass, and um, that's the sentiment at least on this channel. And here are some more positive uh, reviews from uh, the Shib Army. Uh, on Twitter, Lucy says beautifully said uh, to Shib Informer, and he put it like this: He says, "Do it, but go there just to let them know who the Shib Army is and how it can act as a force of good." They are definitely not friends of decentralization, so be cautious about their su suggestions. And some responses to that, someone says, I vote yes, and uh, well stated. And Shatoshi uh, added an, in his previous tweet, and he pretty much said, we would be at the table with policymakers and would help shape the policy for the metaverse alongside other giants like Facebook, uh, Sand, Decentralized, etc. And please don't ask my opinion, because you already know, and uh, most of you already know that he's pretty anti uh, centralization and um, there's just a few other comments over here and I think some people say um, if it means working on Shib stopping working on Shibarium then he says no um, that was Shib Informer's comment and uh, I believe I believe JD said yes I think it would be a great opportunity to have a major influence on their metaverse policy but it's not without its risks the WF usually have their own ins own incentives so it will be very important to be careful however it's crucial to push forward the decentralized vision another person says yes but be careful and um, I think there was an additional one which I wanted to show you guys Jolt says my vote is yes. If you stay in the sidelines and remove yourself from conversations and policy forming, the decisions will be made without any input from the SHIB army. And I think someone else says, if we can present ourselves and help them with the metaverse industry growth, positive regulations and ideas without compromising our core, core principles. And uh, I think SHIB Knights, he voted yes with, with that particular comment. Now, for me personally, I have mixed feelings about this. The positive, th positive thing is that Shiba Inu is apparently regarded as a really big stakeholder in this future metaverse arena. And this would potentially help shed our meme coin status very fast and potentially help us land deals and partnerships with really big organizations when they intend to uh, switch to Web3. For example, Shibarium, for Shibarium to work on a big scale, it will require either several small projects or just a handful of really big ones. And uh, this recognition by the WAF, it may help the likes of, you know, potentially the organizations the size of Amazon potentially sh choose Shibarium as a preferred layer 2 solution uh, when they decide to integrate Web3. Because we're already seeing things like this with Polygon. And Polygon is miles ahead of us, um, especially in the Ethereum layer 2 scaling um, you know, space, as they are um, a, a provider of choice at the moment with real world companies who are entering Web3. So the World Economic Forum, at least being on their table, it could actually potentially save us years of grinding. And on the other hand, the crypto community is almost overwhelmingly considers the WEF as the devil himself. And uh, this could really stain the image of Shiba Inu among the crypto community. Even though I would vote yes from an exposure point of view, I certainly wouldn't brag about it. So that's pretty much the sentiment at the moment. Uh, so far, the majority of the Shib Army supports this idea. And, uh, the, and others are pretty much either neutral or strongly against. The way I see it, it's kind of like the United Nations. It's made up, as you know, of different countries with different worldviews. Some nations are capitalistic, some are socialistic, some are democratic, some are monarchies. But all of them sit at the table and they share their views on influencing the global arena. And many, many of them don't agree, but they always vote. And some vote in favor of proposals and some vote against it. And others choose to abstain but all of them are acknowledged for their sovereignty. And Shiba Inu has clearly been acknowledged for its potential influence in the space of the metaverse. We are a decentralized community who have been given the, the opportunity to share our decentralized ideology. I don't think being part of this makes us any less decentralized than it would make, for example, the US being less American for attending a UN summit on something like climate change. So what I'm going to do is I'll leave a link to the poll for those of you who haven't voted. Uh, I think it's, it'll be a really good idea to get a whole, um, the whole community's perspective. In fact, I think if it's that big of a deal, the decision should actually be made through the doggy dial. In fact, I also think that if, if an urgent answer is required, we should do an extraordinary, um, or I mean an extraordinary doggy dial vote instead of a Twitter poll. That way we can clearly demonstrate both to the crypto community and the World Economic Forum that that's how Shiba Inu runs things. So I wouldn't be surprised if that's the next step. 
And I think that's, I think we can wrap it up with that. If you want to see my reasonings for a cautious yes, uh, you can check out my Twitter pro, uh, profile, which is uh, at ShipPlanet. And it's also in the description. And so uh, I highly recommend you watch my previous two videos on the metaverse. Um, this one here and this one over here. They're both about the metaverse and I think they'll help you see more about Ship the Metaverse and also the, sh the future which, has, um, which has clearly got the world talking. Once again, if you like the way I cover the Shiba Inu ecosystem, guys, the best way you can continue to support this channel is by simply hitting the like button and also leaving a comment. Those two actions will help share quality Shiba Inu content with the community. And once again, thank you so much for watching, everyone. This is Ace. Peace.